Nine or ten, do this math. Uh, different We're recording. This is the news. What's happening now? Cortana. Cortana. What time is it? Stab to a man. I think in the end, after a lot of debate, what you could be left with is a deal with Colorado, which is something that this administration was supposed to do. That's beginning. What time is it? It's 10 57 a.m. in Arch Cape. Thank you. The divisiveness of this issue is something both Democrat and Republican presidents have. What day is it? Today is Thursday, January 28, 2021. Even with the promise of increased vaccine doses going to states in the coming days, the new White House task force reports U.S. deaths could surpass half a million in the next few weeks. Between 479 and 514,000 deaths by February 20th. You see me? The first virtual task force report came not without a few technical glitches. Okay, well, I said a lot of really good stuff. The Biden administration this says it'll be months hear. before everyone who wants a vaccine has access to one. Any stockpile that may have existed it previously is really of the no longer exists. You know what Secretary happened. Minister Dose's FEMA is now requesting 10,000 service members for support. It spread out at up to 100 vaccination sites nationwide. For now, frustration and canceled appointments have some people going to extremes to get a shot. Min Yi drove her parents three problem? hours in New York after slots opened up. That's what they want. In Harris County, Texas, there's now an online wait list. Getting a COVID-19 vaccine shouldn't be like the hundreds of weeks. And in Virginia, plans for a single state reporter to sign up for appointments. We don't want to get this. That's why I'm Virginia. You don't have to get sick. Kentucky's yeah, governor do, uh, is expressing the most common complaint. Okay. With three issues that be supply, supply, and supply. Also, this morning, as health officials monitor here. those virus variants, We're the safe. CDC says the UK strain is that now right? detected in 28 states. Booster shots no are now in development, but Dr. Fauci insists current vaccines do offer protection. And once a vaccine becomes available to you, the new CDC director says a fever and muscle aches after your shot are actually good signs. And these symptoms mean that your immune system is revving up and the vaccine is actually... Well... Now, severe allergic reactions now, uh, have been recorded, not a lot, but they... Boys and girls, and the CDC director says they you are know what we're doing. Tom, the federal government has its work cut out for it. What other actions are they taking to try to ramp up the supply? Yeah, they're talking about ramping up manufacturing. Now, the administration says all options are on the table. That includes looking into whether the president can use the Defense Production Act to force companies to produce more vaccines. The government also increased the vaccine staffing by authorizing well retired doctors and nurses to administer vaccinations across state lines. Breathe. So help me God. So help me God. Mr. Director. We're talking. I'm listening. I hear you, Don. Quick way for us to decide. It's been a busy week. And uh, I've signed executive orders tackling COVID-19, the economic and climate crises. And now it would be good. Racial equity. But today I'm about to sign two executive orders. And basically, the best way to describe it is to undo the damage Trump has done. There's nothing new that we're doing here other than restoring the Affordable Care Act and restoring the Medicaid. What's the deal? Same old story. He changed, made more inaccessible, more expensive. What do you think? For people to qualify for either of those. You got a problem with that? Affordable Care Act or Medicaid. And the second, uh, uh, the second uh, order is also changing what the president has done. The president, 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 the What's that noise? 
These images conceal memories. Beneath Hollywood's familiar stories lies a hidden history of persecution and murder, which haunted a small group of men, not American cowboys, but Jewish immigrants. This is the story of the founders of Hollywood, the story of the idea that became their America and ours. What is America to me? A name is to a map, or a flag I see. A certain word, democracy. What is America to me? What is it? Modern America first saw light on a Hollywood screen. It was largely the product of six movie studios established in the 1920s and run for over 30 years by a group of Jewish immigrants. They had striking and similar backgrounds. All of these men who founded Hollywood were born within a 500 mile radius of one another. And all of them wound up roughly within 15 miles of one another in Los Angeles. One could say that the American dream was really born in Eastern Europe. How to jumpstart your love life. Cupid is winning. So try this and start today. I understand what happened in the last insurrection against the United States government. This is the beginning of the war. Donald Trump, the ostracized Harry Warner, who with three of his brothers brought sound to the motion picture, was born in Poland. I was Jack Warner, youngest of the Warner clan, and then the senior member of the film famed brothers. Also from Poland was Samuel Goldwyn, born in Goldfish. Although Goldwyn never ran a major studio, he was perhaps the biggest and best known of the independent Hollywood producers. Okay. Universal founder Carl Lemmingham came from a small town in June. Louis B. Mayer, who gave us the glory years of the immigration, was born in Russian Jewish village. William Fox and Paramount's Adolf Hitler were both born in Hungary. Fox's studio merged with 20th century pictures to perform 20th century Fox. Live weekdays, starting at 6 a.m. Eastern. Zuko, known as the father of the feature-length film, spent his childhood in this Jewish village. Prior to the 20th century, most okay. Eastern European Jews were forced to live in poor villages called shtetls. Without a homeland, they lived a marginal existence at the sufferance of a life of Zara. I remember that. Who desperate, desperate can take away May I ask you a question? Certainly, lady. Is there a proper blessing for the Tsar? A blessing for the Tsar? Of course. May God bless and keep the Tsar far away from us. <laughs> In these villages, religion and life were intertwined. Everyone spoke Yiddish, the Germanic language of the shtetl. These towns were alive with Yiddish songs, storytelling, theater, and humor that would eventually find their way to America. This rich cultural life insulated the shtetl Jews from their misery and the often hostile reality around them. Okay, uh, I see you. You see me. You know what I'm doing. And their 
Check it out. Uh, came from a place which is like Still, a colossal the, uh, the tale of settlement in the Russian Empire. It was the only place where Jews could live uh, legally you wanna see uh, it. under the Tsar. They uh, had a very marginal existence with the well, well, villages. There was a tremendous amount of overpopulation. People were constantly migrating around. This, uh, this area really was the equivalent sure. of a sort of huge Indian reservation. Yeah, not only were people poor, but there were very few things that they could do to earn a livelihood. Their neighbors were often uh, violent. There were uh, tremendous constraints on Jewish life. There was also a real sense of vulnerability. What do you see? What's the problem? Death could come crashing down on the defenseless steppes. I don't see a problem. Reminding the Jews that as a people they were permanent outsiders, vulnerable, oh, and powerless. Before the turn of the century, hundreds of thousands well, died in pogroms, massacres. What's your point, you know? Suddenly, neighbors kept running out of no the front of their house, yelling, the hooligans, hooligans, the hooligans are here. What do you want to know? They broke down the gate and they came in on horseback on foot, really sore. And my oldest brother and my father each grabbed one of those clubs. And they went out. I'm over here. Video also surfaced. I'm invisible. Fortunately, they came back. But there are many people who can't see. And I looked through it. This is where the founders of Hollywood well, came from. This is what they you were know where it is. why they came to America. These harrowing experiences are reflected in many Hollywood films. Right here. Hi. Again and again, images of the rampaging oppressor, of the slaughter of the innocent, and of homes laid waste by fire make their way into American movies. We're here. For the shtetl Jews in the late 1800s, life was a series of rapes and murders. Many decided not to wait for a cavalry that would never come. In the of Eastern Europe, there were three ways to flee. The first was to stay where you were and participate in some Marxist or socialist well, that you would become part of a labor organization that would in turn create a great regime, a socialist regime in which Jews could be accepted. You're the expert. What is the concern that's prompting this new warning of additional violence? You see it? A very small minority began to dream about Palestine. Very small numbers of people became Zionists. You needed a great deal of ideological dexterity to talk yourself into getting on a boat and going to Palestine at the turn of the century. The vast majority of Jews, two million out of two and a half million, who left Eastern Europe to find their dreams, and, and meanwhile, there are new the smart money about a man was on America. By the it was the simple place where you could imagine the dream of, you know of Jews case. having both opportunity, tolerance, and also economic security. Well, for Jews, this was a migration. They had no positive views of uh, life in the old world. Many immigrants, in fact, talked about the last meal in Russia, where they turn around and spit. Well, we're safe here. In a way, we might even say that they actually became American, or they began the process of Americanization at the moment when they decided to leave, because they knew that there was no going back. But his lawyer says he does not belong to any organization. Among these immigrants were the future founders of the studios. They came with little money now, and few belongings, but they brought with Wall them Street a new vision. Seems to have just come right out of the blue this morning, and as Hollywood officials was and investi in investors by buzzing. Jews who were so here's how it goes: <laughs> shares of the video game retail Real game stock have suddenly become a white-hot, must-own skyrocketing over the last 
week or so. When okay, they landed really in America, the Jews Street expected to find a really place where the little guy could make it to try to understand this, and then we thought, no, let's just call in well, BC's senior business correspondent, Stephanie Wolf. Okay, look, we don't speak CNBC. We don't know the stock market. All we know is suddenly GameStop is this hot stock, and it's sort of pitting these guys against each other. And it's sort of pitting these individual investors, folks like you and me, they couldn't get into financial services. They couldn't work for slave wages. They couldn't live in the good neighborhoods. They could live in tenement slums. And it didn't take long before a great number of them began to once again fantasize about what it would really mean to realize the original dream. Many of the future moguls had fathers who failed to adjust to the new world. At a very early age, they became the family breadwinners. They developed an unrelenting desire to make it, to succeed in the America that existed somewhere beyond the Jewish ghettos. Well, we're isolated. Jews couldn't be banked. They were shut out for that. Their quota systems to get into Harvard and almost any medical or school or whatever. Any business or profession that was thought to be honorable was in some way or other excluded to Jews. So that uh, they went into businesses that were, in a sense, outside of this system of dominance. Well... Hollywood's future founders quickly distinguished themselves as risk takers and innovators. Adolf Zucker made his first fortune with the invention of a fox stool with a clasp inside the fox's mouth. The first moguls tended to come from various aspects of the sales business. Dry goods sales, leveling as a clothier, gold pages, the New York Post. So I guess the question is, is if a bunch of little guys can manipulate the market like that, what does that say for the market overall as a whole? They approached it not from an engineering point of view, not from technology or machinery, but from how they can distribute a product. You really can't stress too much how pervasively Jewish the movie industry was in New York before World War I. Not that the Jews were making movies or acting in movies, but there probably would not have been a, a, an extended Jewish family in New York at that time who did not have some relatives involved in some aspect. Of so the movie industry, which was really a mom and pop industry of storefront theaters in not very elegant neighborhoods. My dad was president of Paramount for almost 30 years. The way he got into the business was quite wonderful. My grandmother, who raised eight children, they don't two rooms above a fish and family I think we should get out of the CNBC now. Max, we do. And this is why I put my money under the mattress. Thank you so much. Going on. She got him. It was a surprise partnership from the start. The city of Philadelphia introduced a 22 year old grad student who planned to get lots of people. And on the way there, she told me that this was the greatest thing. It's really the health department here who's giving us a shot. Now the city says it made a mistake. Sam ran the doctor. And a accusations, Andre DeRosian took the vaccine home. Personally, and Jack's assignment. Did you take Jack as a vaccine home with you? Yeah, but I would like to tell you the whole story. DeRosian says. He Four was, doses were left over after singing. a mass vaccination clinic oh, last Saturday. You vaccinated your friends, young people. Why not find someone who is in an at-risk group to vaccinate? He had a nickname. There are Leon's grandmothers, mother. there are grandfathers, there are people <laughs> That's what he all named himself. Country that are, anyway, so he, that can't get his he was used to and chase the audience Stephanie, out we of call. the... Uh, the doses were about to expire. We called everybody we knew. Every single person. Are you qualified to get you. a vaccine? I am not a nurse. You know my I'm name. Not on our internal At the turn of the century, but movies Andrew, reflected the vision of America shared no. by Thomas Edison and the other man who invented the waste. film industry. I stand by that decision. I understand that I made that mistake. Most of these old stock that Protestants is my mistake saw film to carry as an for the rest of my life. For the working classes. But it is not the mistake of the organization. The accusations of Where vaccine misuse huh? surfaced after the city alleged the, films the organization presented negative images of shut down testing Jews, clinics blacks, did not reveal others. it was becoming a problem. They championed an idea of America where the white upper classes ruled and immigrants in their place. 
Dr. Roshan told me they never sold anyone's data and that the Take privacy one policy one posted one was a mistake. Uh, the district attorney says the allegations raise serious concerns. The Jews meet on the street is that you have come here during a pandemic to do good stuff for people and show people run off one of them who's peddling neckties. Right. One of the other Jews we first met to Roshan when his vaccination clinic launched at the Pennsylvania Convention on. Center Brian three weeks ago. So we were to vaccinate nearly 7,000 people. Thread we connected to the money, so as the cop the walks window. away, smuggled, the, the money pops out of his pocket, back into the Jews' pocket. Now, healthcare workers, they're petty merchants, they jabbered, with relief getting the vaccine that day. corrupt cops. Worries she won't be able to get a critical second dose. The blacks, they're in a saloon, they fight in suits, they wage war with it's so the blacks dance, they fight over On women, issue of and they fight with women. Then says that they want to start billing insurance companies because it was too expensive to know these vaccination clinics. And, and, and the donations they then were getting were the just not enough. And Savannah? No. Uh, Stephanie, as you talked to the DA there, to be no which raises, of course, the question, there, could there be criminal tablet. charges here? This is what I'm doing. John Bull comes out and well, shakes hands with everybody. John is a underway. The Federation says he has an attorney and he's concerned, but he also takes about that and finally he did the right thing. Uncle Sam comes out and takes okay. about no Jews, no blacks. In effect, Close immigration has never happened, needed a lot of screen but time to make a big impression and the blacks whether in young friends what it's like to be old stock. Or the They're last really picture show as a lonely housewife. The highest artistic achievement of pre-Jewish American cinema was the box office hit Birth of a Nation that by D.W. Griffith. An Oscar is best the explicitly animals, racist story the glorified the Ku Klux Klan for and played on white America's fear of racial intervention. These films reflected popular American values of their era. Ironically, they were being shown in Jewish run theaters to audiences of Jews and other immigrants. Warner Brothers, Zucker, Goldwyn, Lasky, and Lemley began exhibiting the short films produced by the Edison Dancing with the Stars. Well, they upgraded their theaters and sought ways to attract the leech class. Caught the public's eye as a fine Jewish American in 1946. She married filmmaker the Jewish Jewish England in 1953 an enormous and had value five children. And high culture. The couple divorced uh, in 1979. And the I finest expressions of music and art. You know, my children gone At the and same time, around and I, but I'm the experience of being on the margins meant that your identity was in Hollywood to the Ed Asner tweeting this picture from the last time he saw her. Collective norms at the done. lowest common director Mel Brooks and that writing, combination of a commitment to high the culture on the one hand and an appreciation do you know of low culture or popular stage? culture on the and other was the perfect preparation. Adolf actor, Zucker turning to to a Sarah Bernhardt Mom, for a popular you. film, I think, is well, a case in point. Today, Adolf Zucker believed that to attract the middle class, one had to change not just the theater, but the film. Bypassing okay. it, he imported from France this film, uh, featuring a famous stage actor. Who he premiered the in a broad star theater. Oh, right. Well, not wanting to depend on Europeans for quality films.